From the given data, compute the taxable income for assessment year 12-13 and 13-14. You're given some numbers about financial year 11-12 and 12-13. Now obviously because this is financial year 11-12 and 12-13, this means it is assessment year 12-13 and 13-14. Right? So you're given the business income prior to depreciation, 1 lakh and 80,000. You are given depreciation of 1,60,000 and 30,000 and you are given income from house property 50,000 each for these two years. So basically when we compute our taxable income this question is more to do with how do you deal with unabsorbed depreciation. So let's say for assessment year 2012-13 we will have profits and gains of business and profession which is 1 lakh from this we will reduce depreciation now depreciation is 1 lakh 60,000 okay so the maximum which can be absorbed here is 1 lakh right the balance 60,000 can be easily set off against income from house property this we will learn subsequently okay regarding the set off and carry forward so we have income from house property which is 50,000 unabsorbed depreciation can be set off against income from house property so we will reduce depreciation 50,000 it's actually not unabsorbed depreciation I'm sorry I have used the word, wrong word it's depreciation for the current year so income is zero income is zero but if you notice out of 1,60,000 of depreciation we have been able to absorb how much 1 lakh and 10,000 which means depreciation of rupees 10,000 remain unabsorbed right and this will be carried forward to assessment year 2013-14 right in 13-14 again the business income prior to depreciation is 80,000 right your depreciation is 30,000 this is for the current year right less unabsorbed depreciation of 10,000 right so entire thing is absorbed you get an income of 40,000 under the head profits and gains of business and profession now income from house property which is this one is going to be 50,000 here since there is no more unabsorbed depreciation we will not set off anything and this 50,000 will come in the outer column so the total income will be 50 plus 40 or 90,000 we have assumed that this income this 50,000 number which is given to us is after all the deductions and therefore we haven't reduced anything specifically for them for repairs and everything right if it was given to you that you know this is before standard deductions or municipality and all those things then you would have considered those 30 percent deduction but in this case we have just assumed that 50,000 is after all the adjustments the net amount in income from house property so the way unabsorbed depreciation is set off is first is if it is for the current year you set it off entirely against profits and gains of business and profession anything left you set it off against other incomes wherever set off is permissible in this case it was house property if still you are left with something that is carried forward for an unlimited period right and once you carry it forward in the next year you can add it to the usual depreciation and deduct it okay the point to be noted here is that if let's say instead of 10,000 this depreciation was 80,000 carried forward or rather unabsorbed the law says that this unabsorbed depreciation will be treated as depreciation for the next year which means what the total out of this 80,000 we, what is the income which is left here the income which was left here would have been let me use a different color 80 minus 30 50,000 this 50,000 would have been entirely adjusted against this but still we would have been left with a balance of 30,000 now the interesting thing to note here is that this 30,000 can again be set off against income from house property why because the law says that this amount is actually just added to the current year depreciation and it is treated as if it is 
current year's depreciation which means what which means that it can be set off against any other income as well for that particular assessment year